Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. We begin with our opening responses. The world belongs to God. The earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful. To live together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. When finest aspirations fail and dreams become dismayed, and all the hopes tomorrow held by felt by yesterday, what can we do? Where do we turn? What shall Move among us, God. Give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. And now we have our prayer of confession. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world.
before God, with the people of God. I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we want our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We now have the response of faith. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere. We affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 145 I will praise your greatness, O God. I will bless your name forever. Every day I will praise, praise you and, and honour your, your name without ceasing. God, you are great and deserve our praise. Your glory is beyond our understanding. Each generation shall speak of your worth and celebrate your goodness. I will meditate on your wonderful work and consider what you have done. God is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and constant in love. God's goodness and compassion are meant for all creation. God keeps every promise. God's ways are always gracious. God lifts up those who are falling and raises those bowed down. All eyes look to you, O God, who supplies every creature's need. God, whose ways are just and kind, draws near to all believers. Our mouths will sing out praise. God's name be blessed forever. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from the New International Version of the Bible, Reading from Matthew, chapter 27, reading verses 57 to 66. As evening approached, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting there opposite the tomb. The next day, the one after preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, 
We remember that while he was still alive, that deceiver said, after three days I will rise again. So give the order for the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead. This last deception will be worse than the first. Take a guard, Pilate answered. Go make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting the guard. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God. Sing, my soul, when hope is sleeping, sing when faith gives way to fears, sing to melt the eyes of sadness, making way for joy through tears. Sing, my soul, when sickness lingers, sing to dull the shine. Spirit leaping, healing needs a glad refrain. Sing, my soul, of him who shaped me, let me wander far away. Ran with open arms to greet me, brought me home again to stay. When light seems darkest, sing when night refuses rest. Sing though death should mock the future, what's to come by God is blessed. The Empty Day Luke 23, 56b On the Sabbath they rested, according to the commandment. On the empty day the women kept the law and customs of the people. There was no hope that Sabbath, no angel marked the day with cloud or fire. Stories started, wandered, withered into silence bereft of laughter. From that day of rest with no rest, of tepid meals because the body must hunger for life longer than the will, came evening and the planning of the funeral rites, the day delayed, the preparation of the words of spice and sweetness that must honour the one we loved and lost. God of all creation, who cannot be contained by our boundaries or our definitions, light from beyond galaxies, see without a farther shore. You are present in every distinct place, in every moment of history. You are here and now. Help us to understand that those from whom we are separated in life by distance, by sea and land, those from whom we are separated by difference, by prejudice, by language, by lack of communication. 
and those from whom we are separated in death. It's long silence, it's aching absence, are each of them in your presence that beyond our horizons, beyond our boundaries, beyond our understanding, they are in your embrace. Amen. On the 16th day of the month, we pray for the Community Life Committee, our advisory and working groups. And we pray for the following countries, the lands and their peoples. Tonga, Samoa, Tuvalu, French Polynesia, Tahiti, the Cook Islands, the Federated States of Micronesia, Palau, Kiribati, Nauru and the Marshall Islands, and New Zealand. And we pray for members belonging to the family group of Cumbria. Alison Adam and Martin Coe, Jackie Bullman, Ruth Harvey and Nick Austin with Sophie, Judith Eilert, Francis McIntyre, Nikki Pennington and Graham Wilson, Elaine Park, Cara Riley, Stephen Wright and Ian Webster. And on the 16th day of this month, we pray for associate members in Scotland East and South East, Edinburgh and the Lothians. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. Ever-present God, set your blessing on us as we begin this day together. Confirm in us the truth by which we rightly live. Confront us with the truth from which we wrongly turn. We ask not for what we want, but for what you know we need, as we offer this day and ourselves for you and to you. Amen. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will, will rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings, offerings that, that cost us nothing. nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek, seek peace and, and pursue, pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God in community, holy and one.